we need to start with this side molding. I've already moved my wings that I have on the side here, so that's why you see those holes. But we're going to start here with this molding. It pries up from the bottom, so you want to just make sure to be careful when you do it. I don't have, or there's very little room to get a rag in here, so just be very careful. What I do is I'll get the blade underneath there and then just pull up with it and just slowly loosen that. You have those two blades there. Once those are released, this just has clips on the side so it just very easily comes out. And then in the top here, it's engaged with this little hook, so you just want to make sure to be careful when you pull it out. On the earlier model, GL1800s, this molding is very brittle and a lot of times you'll break that tab if you're not careful. On the left pocket here, you just want to pop this open. And then you have four pins that need to be removed and these just have the little center punch pins, I call them. You just kind of push them in and then uh, and then once they're in, this will actually just lift all out. Just be careful you don't lose those pins when you're doing it. Kind of like that. Once they're, once they're loose, you can grab these fairly easy. Now if you have, like I do, a, a little power port in here, um, then you'll need to remove the electrical cables that are underneath there. This long one here is the one that is the furthest forward and tucked underneath the dash, so it's, uh, it's difficult to get to. It mounts in by a little mounting blade, per se, that, that just slides into this slot, and it's locked into place. To unlock it, you would just reach in and push this tab here down just like that with a screwdriver and it will release and then you can pull it out further to get to it and then it's just a matter of pushing this tab down to then release the connector from the uh, the male end this other one here a little easier to get to but the same principle you have a tab here that you actuate that slides off of the mounting tab. Once that's free, you can remove that one. And then this one here is probably the easiest, easiest of them all. It's just simply this tab here, and that's your locking tab that would you would actuate to remove that. So I just wanted to get that detail out. Again, this small one here is just a standard one if you had the fog lights. This will be plugged in. If not, this will just be hanging free or tucked away. With those three plugs removed, if you have not already removed these two screws, then this will just come out as one unit with another cable that's down here if you're running the fog lights. So if you don't have fog lights, um, this cable would not be there. So this is uh, just a matter of pushing this down, pulling that out to release that, and uh, you're done. This is your top center shelter. It contains your gas door, and we want to remove that. So first you have to start by removing the lid for your compartment. With that removed, we can open up the fuel door. And then we have two trim clips in here that we want to remove on the side. So we just push the centers in for those two. And then just gently pull those out. Now if the center piece falls out of there, um, you know, it, it can come out easily is what I'm trying to say. And so we want to make sure that uh, 
that you take those out gently and you don't lose those. If they do pop out, hopefully they, they're just right there. Now on the back side, you have the two outer clip, um, clips actually. Uh, they appear to be, uh, to look like Phillips screws, but they're not, they're just plastic plugs. You also have two screws on the inside that holds the hinge for the gas door. So on the ones on the outside, we just want to put a screwdriver in there, either Phillips or a small standard blade, and just kind of spin those a little bit and they'll pop out. And then we want to just gently come in here and remove those as well. So to remove this, we just open up the tank and then from the back, pop that out. And those two that just engages these two little side tabs on the back. And then you have two more clips that need to be pulled up. And then you have three tabs that engage forward. So you just want to kind of lift that up, slide these back, and that'll come clear. Now that we've removed the pouch, the audio panel, the molding, and the top center shelter, we can now remove the left top shelter off. And uh, one of the things we want to do, again, just to make sure that we don't lose anything crazy, just go ahead and, and uh, place a, uh, a rag or something over here so that we can catch anything that may go down. I like to kind of stuff it up in here as well. And then we want to take a five millimeter and start to remove the screws. There's one here in the corner off of the, uh, the control there for the foot heater. We'll remove that. There's a black one that's underneath the speaker, black so that it doesn't show through the grill. So just remember that location when, uh, when you go to put it back. And then if we move those handlebars, there's another one right up here. And then if we swing these back, we're going to need to go ahead and, and pull this out and just remove the cable from there and lay it down in the... Uh, on top of the radiator there. Then we have another one that's right here. And then we want to take a 10 millimeter socket. You have two here on either side of the gas tank fill. And then we have one more on the post back here. And this also has a metal collar inserted into a rubber grommet. So you can just pull that collar out like that and set those off to the side. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and take this off the post just to get it up and out of the way and we'll work on pulling the rest of this off. Now it's just a matter of lifting this up and removing all of the little attachment pieces. There's a couple of, of um, what I call blades that are inserted down here at the bottom. So we've already taken this off the nut. You've got this up top. You can just pull forward gently uh, to get this out and over your, um, your compartment. And then 
pop this out at the bottom as well, making sure that that's loose first. And then once it's loose, we want to slide this boot, disengage it from the top left shelter, and just make sure that it's free. And then also, we need to remove the cable for the foot heater, which is down under here. I just kind of get in here. It's very difficult to get a camera in there, so if you just remove it from the mounting piece and then slide the cable around to the front, you should be able to work it out of the slot, the retaining slot. And there, once that's free, then we can work on removing this out the rest of the way. And it should be just very simple to lift, get it clear of all of the plastic pieces. Get it out from underneath the radiator there, and then it just comes.